The three media houses were back in court with their application for more time to set up infrastructure required for digital broadcasting, but an objection by the Communications Authority of Kenya to the jurisdiction of the two-judge bench to hear the matter would see Royal Media House, KTN and NTV granted more time to continue operating on the analog platform. For the avoidance of doubt and to avoid any embarrassing situation, threatening the respect and the dignity of this court, lest the fears of the first, second and third respondents are justified, we hereby give an order of stay of switch off of the analog frequencies of the first, second and third respondents until further orders of this court, cost in the application. Deputy Chief Justice Carl Panarawal had last week issued temporary orders stopping the Communications Authority of Kenya from switching off the three media houses from analog broadcasting on the 31st of December. And it is those orders that the Supreme Court extended after ordering that the application be heard by the seven judge bench of the Supreme Court. In view of the nature and terms of the orders sought in the application, we are apprehensive that any orders we may give would lead to inconsistency and even interference with the judgment of the court. In the circumstances, the right bench to hear this application would be the full bench of seven judges who had the case in the first place. The three media houses are requesting a simulcast period which will allow for concurrent broadcasts of both analog and digital signals. This, in essence, is to allow the media houses to set up and test the digital infrastructure to enable a seamless crossover to the digital platform. We came to court a lot because to ask us to switch over analog and go digital meant closing our businesses effectively. So the issues are very simple. We now have a CEO provisioning license. Give us the three additional frequencies for Nairobi and its environment. Very, very good. And then give us simulcast period so that we are able to order the manufacture of these transmitters, the manufacture of the antenna. They have to be delivered here, they have got to be installed. We have to order our own set top boxes. We've got to be delivered. The three media houses are also applying to retain the analog frequencies until the end of the simulcast period and surrender the frequencies only after they have fully migrated to the digital platform. But according to the Communications Authority of Kenya, more time to the three media houses will only serve to skew the playing field since some media houses have already migrated to the digital platform. We are not saying that the migration, digital migration, should be halted. All we are saying is that those others who are able to migrate, the ones who we are giving these licenses a year ago, order their equipment. You have given us one frequency of the of December. Surely we need time to bring in our infrastructure. Together with a simulcast period, the media houses are requesting for additional frequencies to effectively broadcast in Nairobi and its environs. We have something what we call a national frequency plan and a national frequency planning process. These frequencies are not available in the air. You have got to look at your national frequency plan and determine where can I squeeze a frequency resource which can enable these people to do so. The parties had been given 90 days to hold consultations during which the three media houses were granted temporary authorization to carry their own content. The licensing process is still underway. Esther Kahumbi, Monday Special.